What happens when a former Harry Potter star takes the stage at the UN? She makes a global appeal for feminism and apparently people listen. Men, I would like to take this opportunity to extend your formal invitation. Gender equality is your issue too. And with that, the actors turned UN Women Goodwill Ambassador Emma Watson launched the He For She campaign. The goal? To get 100,000 men to agree to the He For She commitment and take all action against forms of violence and discrimination faced by women and girls. Soon after her speech, hackers threatened to release nude photos of Watson. So maybe another test of this campaign for gender equality is how people respond to that threat. Elaine Thompson tweeted, This kind of response to her speech? This is exactly why we need feminism. Tens of thousands of tweets and sign-ups later, the campaign is inching closer to its target. Sean Moody tweeted, I'm getting behind the He For She movement because gender equality is not only a women's issue, it's a human rights one. Can't argue with that. But Mark Yearwood thinks Watson should drop the word feminism. It's become so toxic a term, it turns people off. Well, that's actually something Emma Watson recognized during her speech. The more I've spoken about feminism, the more I have realized that fighting for women's rights has too often become synonymous with man-hating. And she wants to change that. But just how far can a campaign like this go, and can you even measure its success? Think of past hit social media campaigns like the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge that literally flooded your Facebook timelines. Or Movember when men everywhere get a bit hairier in the face for a month to raise money and awareness for men's health issues. You can count the millions of dollars raised, people drenched, and stashes grown with those campaigns. But when you're talking about spreading an idea like gender equality, can clicktivism translate into meaningful action? Or is simply getting people to think and talk about an issue victory enough? Will he for she really get he's and she's working together on gender issues? Or will it just be forgotten next week? Want more? Download the AJ Plus mobile app and join the conversation. Available in your app store now.